My name is Christian Bowie, also known as the Prince of Poetry. Um, I've been writing poetry now for about 15, 15 years. Um, started writing right before high school. Um, it had become a bit of a let out for me um, for any emotional ups and downs I had gone through and so uh, writing has always kind of been my therapeutic exercise to get through the things in life that bother me, much like any other writer or poet. Um, and since then, um, I've taken an affinity to it and never looked back. Remember the moment when, well, well like a familiar smell. And I can remember how years of questions and guessing began to swell inside of me. The emotions were no longer hiding. See, the moment was here, and you were close enough to touch. I quickly thought up every poem I had ever written you. Each moment I wanted to visit you, every letter I thought about sending you, and here I was sitting, just sitting right here in front of you. I mean, Chris is a great inspiration, man. Chris is, uh, every time he drops a poem, you know, either online or in person, it's always dope, man. It's always love. And really, for him to put hot chocolate together, I was thinking about this earlier this morning, is, is, um, is like a blessing because it, it puts all artists together. You know what I mean? Inspired by several poets. Um, Langston Hughes is one of my favorite poets of all time. Uh, Nikki Giovanni, obviously Maya Angelou. Um, and then also some modern day hip hop artists inspire some of the way that I write. Um, individuals like um, Talib Kweli, um, Most Def, uh, Common, um, and wordplay I picked up from several artists uh, that are also in the hip hop industry. And in order to showcase my talent, um, I didn't want to go the rapper route. Um, but I still wanted to make sure that I was able to express myself in a way that would appeal to the masses. So that's kind of where the whole spoken word thought kind of came into play. And uh, since then, um, I've been focusing more of my talent on this craft of writing. Well, one of the ways I got hooked up with Hot Chocolate, because one of the times I used to host some different forms of poetry events, and Chris was one of the people who noticed me writing. So when he had caught width of my writing, I guess it was good enough in order to be accepted into the hot chocolate poetry factory. I cared, but they responded ravishly, so my given hand had died with our loyalty. I'm sorry I fell for the same mistake twice. Not knowing gaining your trust would remain out of sight. Well, the rules became one-sided and it only applied to me, which shows I was the only one in this ship that we call friends to begin with. I've written maybe about 450 poems. Um, I've recorded poems all over the, uh, the city of Chicago. Um, I've been, had the, the blessed privilege of being able to perform with Chris Michaels on WGCI. I've been able to win several orator awards um, and just been blessed to share this gift that uh, God gave me and use it to encourage other people. And this is a perfect platform from that kind of thing. So a lot of writing, um, some pieces better than others, obviously, but uh, all good, all coming from a very sincere place. They go over and there's no one here to cry on shoulder. My life's been pulled over, the lights are flashing. I cannot deal with this disease passing. The damage is long lasting and yet my scars are faded. How is it that you and I could ever be related? I'm constantly in denial saying, no, it's not true. I thought you were my baby. I, where the heck are you? I'm through. I'm tired of calling you a liar. Where are you to extinguish the flames to my fire? I'm saying bye-bye broken, but here I am, pieces scattered. And what do you do when you can't hear the answers to your questions because of all of life static? And no matter how preposterous the answers are, you are penalized for reacting. You see, life can be taxing, and that's why it's taken me a little bit of time to begin pending these questions I've been meaning to ask you, Mom. Like, why don't I know you? I mean, I thought I was supposed to. I thought you were someone I was supposed to be close to, like stir-frying tofu or like macaroni and cheese and soul food. I mean, where have you been, Mom? Oh, it feels like ooh, you don't know God's Prince of Poetry is uh, 
is obviously self-named. Uh, I thought to say that I was the king of poetry would be somewhat narcissistic. Um, I look at myself as a constant learner of the craft. And because I feel like I'm always a learner, um, I never really feel like I will master it. And there are several kings and queens that have gone before me. Those people like Langston Hughes, those people like Nikki Giovanni, Shakespeare, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, uh, those poets that have done it and done it and done it, and which is absolutely timeless in their ability to continue to write and tap into that energy. So I think all of us are princes and princesses of the craft. Hot chocolate was a thought that we had because we wanted to throw something in the winter. There's several things to do in the summertime, but there aren't many venues dedicated to colder seasons. And so we thought, what could we come up with that would be catchy, that would bring people in? And what better way to do that than to come up with hot chocolate? It's a universal drink. Everybody loves it. We live in Chicago. It's freezing. So that brings people in. And then we thought, what would be a good thing to do for them once we get them together and surround them by this hot chocolate? And that's when the thought for spoken word came up. And so we put those thoughts together and we came up with hot chocolate poetry and it's stuck. Um, and we played with different thoughts. Like we thought we would do hot chocolate for a while, then switch up the theme and do like lemonade. And then we'll do like Kool-Aid. But hot chocolate poetry is more than just the title of an event. It is a movement that we are vested in, that we believe in. And uh, we believe that uh, it's, a, it's a brand that we're proud of. I am the Prince of Poetry and you are watching Indigo Eye on Shine.